All right, Captain, let's clear these windshields off. <sighs> Son of a dude. Should never sign this contract. They don't use SU Maine's personnel. Well, I know what I gotta do now. Man, that's a first officer problem. <laughs> Attention passengers, our co-pilot today has the privilege of wiping off our windshield before we get going. Sorry for any delays. Does that mean I have time to go to the bathroom? No, it doesn't. That's not how plane potties work. And that guy already stopped it up. Sorry. <laughs> oh, hello. Maintenance managers. Are your maintenance technicians a little unfamiliar with ice and rain systems? Do you need a more well-rounded maintenance technician that understands aircraft systems a little bit more? Hi, I'm Jeff Kelly and today I will show you the features of this ice and rain protection system trainer and how we use it to better familiarize our students with systems commonly found on aircraft. Aircraft are commonly sprayed with de-icing fluid or glycol, but we're going to focus on what the plane itself is capable of doing to make it more resistant to all the funky ways precipitation tries to mess with air travel. In short, these systems take your plane from to As previously seen with CRJ pilots, windshields and windscreens can ice over in a hurry. Windshield anti-ice de-ice systems integrated into aircraft feature window heat, de-icing sprays, and wiper components. Let's talk about windshield anti-icing. When the pump is turned on, the alcohol begins to flow out of the windshield spray bar and runs down the windshield. This system and systems like it are designed to prevent the formation of ice on critical areas during flight, such as your windscreen. As we know, alcohol has a lower freezing temperature, which means that it will maintain its liquid form to help clean your windshields, unless you have a day after tomorrow situation going on, in which case, flying is definitely not advisable. Now, like your car, your plane has a windshield wiper system normally. And if it doesn't, it's probably because your propeller is doing the work for you or you might need to go to the local truck stop and ask for a long squeegee. If your car or aircraft is a little fancy, then you might have a windshield de-icing system installed. Ever seen those thin copper wires or bands inside your rear window? Basically, these little metal strips and glass warm up to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, as in the case of this trainer. And the heat spreads through the entire window because glass is conductive. Air data probes. They measure very important flight characteristics of an aircraft such as speed, altitude, velocity changes, and angle of attack. And in order to do so accurately, they must be kept free of ice buildup. Probe heat ensures no ice buildup will affect air data computer information or a pilot's observed reading in the cockpit. These probes get very hot. Do not touch air data probes when heated. You will lose skin and gain a weirdly shaped burn mark. Don't ask me how I know that. I wanna know how I got these scars. No. So now that we've talked about instruments and windshields, let's talk about wings. Pneumatic de-icing systems have a very unique way of removing ice from your wings. The leading edge of the airfoils are critical areas that must be kept free from ice. The pneumatic de-icing boot in the leading edge of the wing uses pneumatic pressure and vacuum to inflate and deflate a rubber boot. When inflated, the boot will crack the ice and snow, thus re-establishing laminar flow and non-turbulent air over the wings. Maintaining and inspecting these boots are essential to the safe operation of an aircraft in cold weather. Imagine what a pinhole or vacuum loss in the boot would do when ice is observed forming on your wings. You know those little wings that spin really, really fast in front of your aircraft? Propellers. They need de-icing, anti-icing systems to ensure they operate at peak efficiency. These propellers have rubber-style boots as well 
but their wing boots don't inflate, they warm up to melt ice that has been formed. But you can't warm every propeller blade at the same time, that would require too much amperage. So each propeller takes turn in heating up and turning off in a purposeful sequence. Wait a second, how do you transfer any type of electrical energy to something that's spinning really, really fast in front of your aircraft? Wouldn't that just rip the wires right out? Great question indeed, Jeff. These heating pads on propellers are connected via wiring to a slip ring. The slip ring maintains electrical contact via brush blocks mounted on the engine side of the aircraft. So that's how you transfer energy without ripping out any wiring harnesses. Ice and rain protection and mitigation systems are integral to maintaining aircraft flight characteristics during inclement weather and even on clear days. At higher altitudes, cooler, thinner air can wreak havoc on an aircraft's lift and drag coefficients, along with air data probes and even visibility outside the windows. Ice and rain protection systems help to avoid these conditions to allow for a safer and more efficient ride. 